my career history is I never leave a position and a facility or a job in, uh, until I feel that my mission is completed. And it's just not completed yet. Um, we have to get to some type of new normal where uh, we're controlling COVID as much as possible and responding to all of the needs that we have in New Jersey. So, um, you know, we work, I work every day with that in mind. I think we have to bring COVID to levels that w we feel uh, that we, that we feel we can live with. It's not going to be to zero. I think the governor has made that really clear as have public health experts uh, across the nation or maybe internationally as well. Uh, so what is that level? We're still working through that. Um, right now, I believe our deaths, our mortalities are still too high to say that we're even close to that level. Well, the biggest mistake is we did not know uh, what the, uh, apparently the uh, administ uh, federal administration knew, meaning the White House, that there was asymptomatic spread. So we were dealing with uh, not a full plate of information asymptomatic spread from the community by primarily visitors and healthcare workers was devastating to our nursing homes. And it was swift and it was, they got hit hard. At that time, we did not have PPE. No one had PPE. There was no way we could source PPE, if you recall. We did not have testing. So what would we have done differently? That's a, we talk about that here because that's a tough one. Maybe sending support, more strike teams, more quickly, at least to support the care that was going on. But the devastation from the virus because of asymptomatic spread had already taken place. But we perhaps could have helped a little bit more in the care. I have feelings like everyone else. We're doing the best we can with the information that we have to protect as many people and doing the best we can for the most. It's not perfect, but we're trying to do the best we can for the most. So yeah, I've been vilified and I've been celebrated and so has the team. But um, we, have a, we have a tendency to come into work every single day knowing that we're doing the best we can. I think the people in New Jersey have been extremely um, graceful, even when they disagreed. I mean, I get some nasty emails, but I, th I, I cannot say anything um, about people in New Jersey. I think they've been better than most. I know healthcare, health, public health officials throughout the United States have left their job in droves, hundreds of them, because of uh, pressure from the public. I just haven't felt it at that level. I think that there's always a possibility. I was a little concerned about Omicron. Um, and so I just like double masked and was even more careful. Um, people don't see me out and about. <laughs> I'm here and I'm home. I have a, a sister-in-law who um, has uh, terrible multiple sclerosis. So our family is really careful because whoever we're in touch with, it may put not only ourselves at risk, but her, and we will not compromise that. When you bring it that close uh, to your own family and you see that she has no immune reaction to her, uh, her vaccination, her immune system doesn't uh, boost, um, it really brings it home about how important it is to not only protect yourself, but your loved ones. We call it the great pandemic of 2020, 2021, and now 2022. This is a once in a lifetime situation that we're in. We're all building the plane as we're flying it. And we learn and we grow and we change and we improve and then we start all over again. Generally, uh, it's been a really tough two years. We have uh, a lot to mourn. 
but I think we have more to celebrate um, because the people of New Jersey, I believe, are safer today because of the work uh, the governor has done and the department has done.